What's up everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name's Mia and thank you so much for stopping by today. So we're on my island, Nook University. I basically abandoned this island back in, I wanna say October, maybe November. So I haven't built anything for a while, but this is more, oh, ignore that cove vomit that we just walked by, but this is basically what my island looks like. So we're gonna work on creating a fake building so I can continue on with this university theme, but just to give you an idea of what it's looking like so far. But I just think the castle items and medieval buildings are just so perfect. And now I feel motivated again to continue building on my island. So as you can see, this is the space we'll be working on, but let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'd suggest whenever you're trying to create a build like this or anything that kind of has a city core vibe to it, I think it's really important to lay your path first. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this beautiful road that was created by Colin. And for me, the easiest step to laying the road down and this path is first creating the outer edges. So we're gonna use these sidewalk tiles and we're just gonna kinda create the framework of what this road should look like. So inside you wanna have, as you can see here with me putting the leaves onto the ground, you wanna have three tiles inside. So I'm just gonna lay some of this path so you can get an idea of what the road looks like more or less. But then from here, we're gonna to continue to frame the outside portion of it because it does get a little challenging and tricky when you are trying to work with diagonal paths. So for me, I just try to pay attention to how the corner pieces look and the edges of the sidewalk but it does take some playing around with, so that's why I like doing the outer edges first. And don't um, give up if you do make some mistakes. I definitely have to erase this portion many times, but before I wanna have the building in place, I do think it's important to choose where your road's gonna go. So I'm gonna take some time to just slowly put this road together, and I will be back in a moment once I start putting the build together. So as I'm starting to fill in the inside of the path, I just want you to notice that when you are trying to work on a diagonal path like this, it is really easy to get lost in where to make the connecting sidewalk parts. But then after I started putting this together, I did take note that the sidewalk tiles on the top of the road and the bottom of the road are definitely different. Um, they take up different amounts of space. So you see how up here, I've got less sidewalk tiles on top and more on the bottom. So that kind of helped guide me when I'm trying to figure out where to make the diagonal portions go. And then I really like this crosswalk, even though it doesn't go with the original road, it's also designed by Colin. So I'm just gonna throw some lead paths on there later and I think it's gonna look really pretty. So then let's go ahead and start doing some terraforming now. So you'll see I've already got some dirt here in place. So I did have to mark this area cause I, Honestly, when I did do the speed build, this is my second go at it. I did mess up the first time and things were really off. Um, they weren't symmetric, so I had to go back and fix everything. So now I am a believer in marking your areas, especially if you're trying to make something really symmetrical looking. And also, if you're like me, who tends to make a lot of mistakes, it will save you time in the long run. So I'm just filling in this space. This is basically gonna be the frame for the building and it'll start to come together as I add the items. But when I originally create a space like this, I do have to run back and forth. So I'll come stand here on my road 
kind of glance at the terraformed area, place a medieval building right here, and then I do run back to the sidewalk and I decide if I like how close the building is or does it feel too far. And then I play around with the spacing. And once I'm happy with that spacing, then I'll go back and fill in the areas that need to be terraformed and now add the pathing that I like. So I really liked this pink brick. So I'm going to place it all over here, covering this grass up. And then we'll start to add some more of those medieval side buildings and then start to create some more depth and dimension so it feels like a realistic, I wanna say, um, I actually don't know what I wanna say. I just know this is gonna be some sort of room on my campus. I don't know what subjects you're gonna learn here, but that'll come with all due time. So for now, we'll just enjoy it for what it is and let it start to come together. And if you have any ideas of what should be taught in this building, please let me know in the comments. I do appreciate any help and feedback in that sense. But I really like how this looks and I think it's really pretty. So we're gonna add this castle wall here and then I'm also gonna add some simple panels. So it just kind of looks like a little gate. It is blocked off, you can't access it. And then the castle gate is really pretty, but it is, what is it like four tiles? One, two, three, yeah, four tiles wide. So you do kind of have to play around with the space when you are creating fake items fake um, buildings like this. So I'm just gonna plant some trees all over the place, just kind of make it really symmetrical looking. So I did wanna balance that out and I did try to put the exact same tree type and size on both sides, but I'm really obsessed with this decorative pillar as well. And I just thought the owl clocks were such a cute touch. I don't know why whenever I think of academia, the owl comes to mind. So I think that might be my school mascot now. But anyway, we're just gonna continue decorating this area, really start to fill it in so it starts to feel more realistic. So I'm just gonna play around with how this medieval wall is gonna look. And you'll see as I run back and forth, it does look a little awkward from this point of view, but then when I am on the road, it's really gonna look like a building. So I'll be back again as I play around with this to discuss some more of my process. So I'm not gonna fill or finish the backside of the building because I'm not really sure how I want that area to flow together, but just look how pretty that is. Doesn't it just really look like a realistic building? So from this point of view, you definitely can get that sense that it's realistic looking. And now we're gonna go ahead and talk to Mr. Nook or AKA the financial aid office. And I'm gonna go ahead and build an incline here. So I'm gonna, the reason I'm also putting the incline here is cause when you go stand on the incline, you can get a more wide angle photo. And that's the goal here. I really wanna see all parts of the building. So I did play around with where the incline should go, but once it's placed, I would suggest walking up your incline and pulling out your camera, and then just kind of see how wide the building looks. So from there, sometimes like when I originally built this, my building wasn't wide enough. So I did start to add more parts and pieces and components so it starts to feel more realistic, such as these castle towers. Because in my photo, I did want to, to be able to show that you can see the sides of the building. And I didn't want the whole thing to just be cut off on the edges of the photo. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and decorate it with a lot of items that I feel really add to that campus feeling, um, those college vibes. And I do like that I time travel to fall 
because anytime I think about going back to school, it's always in fall. So I feel like that's the perfect um, season to be in, even though I was really liking how early spring was. Early spring with the pretty dead green grass, it's kind of still a pale green. But you know, I think fall works out perfectly here. So let's just add like all the necessities that you would feel are needed when you're visiting a campus. So the bikes are really cute. And then just want this to be a little study area. So I'm gonna let you just enjoy the rest of the video as it starts to come together, just throwing in any items that I feel are necessary for a college. And then I'll be back towards the end. finish with today's speed build and I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I feel like all the items are perfect. I wouldn't want to add any more items. I'm going to pull out my camera, take a photo, but look how beautiful that is. So thank you so much and have a great rest of your day or night. Goodbye.